Hey there, YouTube. Pitching Dragon Blade here. It's been a while, hasn't it? Yeah. I know. It's because uh, I've been busy with college, so. That and I have a life, people, so give me a break. Anyway, I've come to present to you the Cyber Dragon OTK ish deck, but I'm going to call it Cyber Dragon Nova OTK. Anyways, I'm going to jump right into the deck profile and I'll explain what these guys do. First, you need to run three Cyber Dragons. This is the alternate art. When I was uh, buying the GX box, the layer is terrible, sorry. When I was buying the GX box, I actually pulled all three of these in packs of the uh, GX folder that you get. So I pulled three Secret Rare Cyber Dragons, and I was just like, these are all very beautiful. So when the structure deck comes out, I'm going to keep these guys in there. Then we have some new support, Cyber Dragon's uh, Dre, I think. Yeah, it's Cyber Dragon Dre. And this card is normal summon. You can make all Cyber Dragons. You control, become level 5. You cannot special summon any monsters the turn you activate this effect except for machine type monsters. If this card is banished, you can target one Cyber Dragon you control. It cannot be destroyed by battle or by card effects. This card's name is treated as Cyber Dragon while it is on the field or in the graveyard. So yeah, a bunch of stuff with him. A lot of people only play two, and I don't know why. I'm like, he's an 1800 beater. He basically helps you start up your engine. He's pretty good. He's not terrible. And then, of course, I pay tribute to my favorite new Cyber Dragon support card, Wolf. Cyber Dragon Core. Um, when he's normal summoned, you get a Cyber Spell and Trap from your deck to your hand. And his other effect, he is treated as Cyber Dragon while on the field and grave. If your opponent controls a monster and you control no monsters, you can banish this card to to summon one Cyber Dragon monster from your deck. You can only activate the effect of Cyber Dragon Core once per turn and only once that turn. So yeah, he's pretty good. And he's 400, so that means that you can machine dupe him, which is really, really useful. You can use him for gachi gachi plays. So you'll see that in the extra deck later. Then some extra... Oh, I almost forgot the last Cyber Dragon monster. Um, I only play one of them, Cyber Dragon's Way. He is okay. He's not really that good. He's a bottomless target. Pretty much all of them are, except for Core, but I just don't really like him at more than one. He just becomes an 1800 beat stick during the damage step, which is okay, but still, it's, it, can't overrun, it can't run over a Thunder King, which is a problem, and you have to reveal one spell for it to become a Cyber Dragon, which to me is very tedious. Then we have some draw power. Three Cyber Valley. Oh my god, he's so broken in this deck. Just all the sorts of plays you can do. You can banish Core. You can banish him. You draw two cards. You set up instantly for Cybernetic Network. You get them all back. His effect is negated, but who cares? You can still make a... Uh, I can't remember that damn magician's name. What is it? Slacker Magician. You can make a slacker play. And just a bunch of shit happens. Or you could just send him to the graveyard and use him with... Uh, use him with... Chimerichek Fortress Dragon, which is what I like to do. Then, the ones I play one of, well, not the ones I play one of, but other tech cards in here. One Cyber Elton, and this card's pretty boss, and he comes out, he sends everything to the graveyard, monsters anyway, and he just basically gives you a field, you know, he gives you field presence while getting rid of their stuff. So, if they have sort of like Stardust or Scrap Dragon on board, that'll give them pluses if they're destroyed anything really, just send it all to the graveyard. He gains attack for every banished, and you can always get those machines back with uh, Cybernetic Network. So, Cyber Network is pretty important. Then we have an Honest, because this entire deck is late, so I see no problem in running just one. And then we have other tech cards. We have Gen X Ally Birdman. This is kind of obvious why he's in here. If you don't know why, let me give you a refresher. He is instantly a level 8 synchro. You press a Cyber Dragon, synchro for a level 8. You can either, you know, bounce, whatever. But you could just, so many good plays. You could bounce core, drop core, just so much stupid stuff. 
and you can just you can get a search from core, you can synchro for level eight, a whole bunch of stupidity. And then two tech cards. Uh Heraldic Beast Basilisk. I used to have him at three in here, but when I was testing he didn't do so well. But he was just fine. Um there's an OTK, huge OTK possibility by using um creature swap in this guy. Your creature swap with this guy doesn't matter what they give you. You have Cyber Dragon Nova attack into it, you get the Cyber Twin Dragon out. And if they have no monsters, poke poke fifty six. It's always nice. Because if you remember, Nova says by your opponent's card effect. Very important to keep in mind. And we have some staples. We have Dark Hole, Triple NST. We do not like back row at all. Back row has to be gone. The tech card of choice, creature swap. Such a good card. Oh my god. You give them a useless little basilisk, you take one of their big dudes, you use Nova to run over the basilisk, and Nova brings out Cyber Twin. You use their dude to attack, you attack with Cyber Twin, and you just go for game, pretty much. It opens up some OTK possibilities, because it doesn't really matter what they give you in return for the basilisk. Then, to speed things up, we have Machine Dupe. It's a Cyber Valley target, it is a Cyber Dragon Core target. It just, it opens plays, and it's a super rare version, so I figured, let me go ahead and use Machine Dupe. Just one is fine, you don't really need more than one. Then, very important, three Cyber Repair Plant. It is a Rota, or it is a Mini Pot of Abra. So it gets back a Light Machine Type from your graveyard, or you search a Light Machine Type from your graveyard. If you can... If you have one Cyber Dragon in the grave, you can only activate one of these effects. If you have three Cyber Dragons in the grave, you can activate both of those effects. So, yeah, card's pretty boss. I like it. And also adding speed, we have uh, Machina Armored Unit. Whenever a Machine Type monster is destroyed, you get the special summon one with the same attribute and less attack from your deck, from face up from your deck. So, yeah. Zway, Dre, all that stuff. I would go for Zway, honestly, because he's the one you want to special. Limiter removal, again, OTK possibilities, and attack, evolution burst. The Cyber Dragon can't attack, but that doesn't really consider anything if you're popping something. It's just a one for one. You're not really minusing besides the fact that you can't attack, and you got rid of something, still keeping your monster. That's a plus. Solemn warning. Obviously, it's just a staple. Two Reckless Screeds. As of this deck, did not have enough draw power as it is, but I don't run the dualities anymore because this deck needs to OTK quickly, and the two Reckless Screeds are just fine. Um, all the draw power you get from Cyber Valley and the searchings you get off core is something that's extremely important, but not much to keep in mind. But two Malevolent Catastrophe, because basically the only heavy storm that we have. They attack, you flip it, everything goes. It's nice to have two of it. And even if they MST the first one, you still have another one. Very important card, DNA Surgery. This makes plays live. They have a field full of monsters, and you have a useless way in your hand. You flip this up, and you say machine. You send them away, you send all their monsters away, and you bring out a Chimera Tech with 2,000 attack. And then you proceed to laugh at their face. I'm going to probably get another one. DNA surgery is so stupid in this deck. And finally, the card that makes the deck explode. Cyber Network. Oh. Okay, i got to read this really long thing. Destroy this card during your third standby phase after activation. Once per turn, if a Cyber Dragon is on the field, you can banish one Light Machine type monster from your deck. When this card is sent from the field of the graveyard, special summon as many of your banished light machine type monsters as possible. And if you do, destroy all spells and traps you control. Monsters that are special summoned by this effect cannot activate their effects. You cannot conduct your battle phase this turn you activate this effect. Pretty bad, but it's still not that bad. And it says cannot activate their effects. Oh, that sucks. So they can't activate their effects this turn. So their effects are virtually negated for a turn. You have this, and you just special summon a whole bunch of dudes. It helps you make pushes. It helps you synchro, uh, synchro summon. Well, you can bring back... I don't think you can bring back the Brave Man. Never mind. It doesn't help you synchro summon. It helps you exceed summon 
and fuse. That's what I was going to say. Anyway, that's the main decks, 40 cards, as usual. Try to keep the 40 cards. And now the extra deck, which is really, really hard to make because I'm still trying to get Chimera Techs. Three. Not one, not two, but three. Cyber Dragon Novos. He's so good. I love him. It's one of my favorite X Y Z monsters in the game. His effect is as follows. Once per turn, you can detach one X Y Z material from this card to target one Cyber Dragon in your graveyard and special summon that target. Once per turn during either player's turn, you can banish the Cyber Dragon from your hand or face up on the field. From your monster card zone, this card gains 2100 attack until the end phase. If this card in your possession is sent to the graveyard by your opponent's card effects, you can special summon one machine type fusion monster from your extra deck. Wow. So he's an honest for himself, can become a 42 beater at most, which is pretty high. He basically is a reborn for Cyber Dragons, and if he dies, Cyber Twin Dragon or Cyber End Dragon will come out. That's kind of scary. Being the fact that he still has the mediocre attack, his massive upgrade is really worth it. That's all I have to say about Mr. Nova over here. Then we have, you know, generic rank 5. You have to have your Volcasaurus, and you have to have your Erdreus. I would have another Tyrus in here, but somebody wanted a Tyrus out of my blind for a long time ago, and I would rather not discuss that story. So, yeah, other generic rank 5s that you can make. I'm going to be making Nova all day, every day, but there's no nothing wrong with just dropping a Volcasaurus. And, of course, to supplement it when it has no materials, two guy dragons. There's nothing wrong with that, and you can supplement it for piercing, just in case they want to, say, Fiendish Chain it. Because I really do hate when people Fiendish Chain my Nova. I'm forced to go into a guy dragon. It's really stupid. Anyway, then we have rank twos. We have Dark Mist and Gachi Gachi. Gives Core some possibilities, because Core is extremely weak. And sometimes you just want him to be in the graveyard. After you get that search off, he's relatively useless. And other than that... You don't really want a 400 beater on the field that can do absolutely nothing. So if you use Cyberdynamic Network and get all three back, you can make this guy. If you have two on the field that you just happen to have and you manage to protect the first one, or if you needed more that you summoned off the Cyber Network, make a gotcha gotcha. It's always an option. Okay, that was the XYZs. Now we go into Fusions. Well, Chimera Tech, I need another one, possibly a third one. I like Chimera Tech in this deck. If you have DNA Surgery, you can make Chimera Tech all day, really with no fear, and you just bring out beaters. Cyber Network says that you can't do anything else besides that. Well, I beg to disagree, because all you have to do is just bring out a Chimera Tech. I'm probably going to make some rank fours, because if you bring Dre back, Dre won't get his effect, so I'm probably going to take out either the Dark Mist or one of the Novos, or maybe just a Dreus, because I don't really make him that often, and probably put in like a Cowboy and maybe a Utopia or a Maestroke, but it helps to have some rank 4 plays for Dre, but yeah, Chimera Tech, I need more. If anybody has it, send me another one. At least two more. Then... Two Cyber Twin Dragons. I got a play set, um, but two is really what you need because you're going to go through these guys really quickly. As soon as Nova dies, you want to bring out this guy because he usually helps you OTK and make that really big push for 56 if they have no field. And, of course, if you know that they have some sort of stall mechanism, go Cyber and pierce the fuck out of it. And it's so satisfying. And then the Synchros, which are pretty generic. The only really two level 8s you should have are Stardust and Scrap Dragon. Because you're not really going to be Synchroing a lot. You're going to be XYZing. You're going to be Fusion Summoning. But it's always nice to have the option. That's why Birdman is in there. All right, everybody. Card of the Night is obviously Cyber Dragon Nova because he's beautiful. This is 13 Dragon Blade signing off.